Yashar, Jasher, 50. At that time, the children of Tarshish came against the sons of Yishmael and made war with them. And the children of Tarshish spoiled the Yishmaelim for a long time. And the children of Yishmael were small in number in those days, and they could not prevail over the children of Tarshish, and they were sorely oppressed. And the old men of the Yishmaelim sent a record to the king of Mitzrayim, saying, Send, I pray you, unto your servants, officers and hosts, to help us to fight against the children of Tarshish, for we have been consuming away for a long time. And Pharaoh sent Yosef with the mighty men and host, which were with him, and also his mighty men from the king's house. And they went to the land of Chavilah, to the land of Yishmael, to assist them against the children of Tarshish. And the children of Yishmael fought with the children of Tarshish, and Yosef smote the Tarshishim, and he subdued all their land. And the children of Yishmael dwell therein unto this day. And when the land of Tarshish was subdued, all the Tarshishim ran away and came on the border of their brethren, the children of Yavan. And Yosef, with all his mighty men and host, returned to Mitzrayim, not one man of them missing. And at the revolution of the year, in the second year of Yosef's reigning over Mitzrayim, Yahuwah gave great plenty throughout the land for seven years, as Yosef had spoken, for Yahuwah blessed all the produce of the earth in those days for seven years. And they ate and were greatly satisfied. And Yosef at that time had officers under him, and they collected all the food of the good years and heaped grain year by year. And they placed it in the treasuries of Yosef. And at any time when they gathered the food, Yosef commanded that they should bring the grain in the ears and also bring with it some of the soil of the field, that it should not spoil. And Yosef did according to this year by year. And he heaped up grain like the sand of the sea for abundance. For his stores were immense and could not be numbered for abundance. And also, all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim gathered all sorts of food in their stores in great abundance during the seven good years. But they did not do unto it as Yosef did. And all the food which Yosef and the Mitzrayim had gathered during the seven years of plenty, was secured for the land in stores for the seven years of famine, for the support of the whole land. And the inhabitants of Mitzrayim filled each man his store and his concealed place with grain to be for support during the famine. And Yosef placed all the food that he had gathered in all the cities of Mitzrayim. And he closed all the stores and placed sentinels over them. And Yosef's woman, Asenat, the daughter of Patipharah, bore him two sons, Meneshah and Ephraim. And Yosef was 34 years old when he begat them. And the lads grew up, and they went in his ways, and in his instructions. They did not deviate from the way, 
which their father taught them, either to the right or to the left. And Yahuwah was with the lads, and they grew up and had understanding and skill in all wisdom and in all the affairs of government and all the king's officers and his great men of the inhabitants of Mitzrayim exalted the lads and they were brought up amongst the king's children and the seven years of plenty that were throughout the land were at an end and the seven years of famine came after them as Yosef had spoken and the famine was throughout the land. And all the people of Mitzrayim saw that the famine had commenced in the land of Mitzrayim. And all the people of Mitzrayim opened their stores of grain, for the famine prevailed over them. And they found all the food that was in their stores full of vermin and not fit to eat. And the famine prevailed throughout the land. And all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim came and cried before Pharaoh, for the famine was heavy upon them. And they said unto Pharaoh, Give food unto your servants, and wherefore shall we die through hunger before your eyes, even we and our little ones? And Pharaoh answered them, saying, And wherefore do you cry unto me? Did not Yosef? command that the grain should be laid up during the seven years of plenty for the years of famine? And wherefore did you not hearken to his voice? And the people of Mitzrayim answered the king, saying, As your soul lives, our Lord, your servants have done all that Yosef ordered, for your servants also gathered in all the produce of their fields during the seven years of plenty and laid it in the stores unto this day. And when the famine prevailed over your servants, we opened our stores and behold, all our produce was filled with vermin and was not fit for food. And when the king heard all that had befallen the inhabitants of Mitzrayim, the king was greatly afraid on account of the famine, and he was much terrified. And the king answered the people of Mitzrayim, saying, Since all this has happened unto you, go unto Yosef, do whatsoever he shall say unto you. Transgress not his commands. And all the people of Mitzrayim went forth and came unto Yosef, and said unto him, Give unto us food, and wherefore shall we die before you through hunger? For we gathered in our produce during the seven years, as you did command, and we put it in store, and thus has it befallen us. And when Yosef heard all the words of the people of Mitzrayim, and what had befallen them, Yosef opened all his stores of the produce, and he sold it unto the people of Mitzrayim. And the famine prevailed throughout the land. And the famine was in all countries, but in the land of Mitzrayim there was produce for sale. And all the inhabitants of Mitzrayim came unto Yosef to buy grain, for the famine prevailed over them. And all their grain was spoiled, and Yosef daily sold it to all the people of Mitzrayim. And all the inhabitants of the land of Canaan, and the Pelashitim, and those beyond the Ardan, and the children of the east, and all the cities of the lands far and nigh, heard that there was grain in Mitzrayim. And they all came to Mitzrayim to buy grain, for the famine prevailed over them. And Yosef opened the stores of grain and placed officers over them, and they daily stood and sold to all that came.
And Yosef knew that his brethren also would come to Mitzrayim to buy grain, for the famine prevailed throughout the earth. And Yosef commanded all his people that they should cause it to be proclaimed throughout the land of Mitzrayim, saying, It is the pleasure of the king, of his second, and of their great men, that any person who wishes to buy grain in Mitzrayim shall not send his servants to Mitzrayim to purchase, but his sons, and also any Mitzri or Canaani who shall come from any of the stores from buying grain in Mitzrayim and shall go and sell it throughout the land, he shall die, for no one shall buy but for the support of his household. And any man leading two or three beasts shall die, for man shall only lead his own beast. And Yosef placed sentinels at the gates of Mitzrayim and commanded them, saying, Any person who, uh, who may come to buy grain, suffer him not to enter until his name and the names of his the and the name of his father and the name of his father's father be written down and whatsoever is written by day send their names unto me in the evening that i may know their names and yosef placed officers throughout the land of mitzrayim and he commanded them to do all these things. And Yosef did all these things and made these statutes in order that he might know when his brethren should come to Mitzrayim to buy grain. And Yosef's people caused it daily to be proclaimed in Mitzrayim according to these words and statutes which Yosef had commanded. And all the inhabitants of the east and west country and of all the earth heard of the statutes and regulations which Yosef had enacted in Mitzrayim. And the inhabitants of the extreme parts of the earth came and they bought grain in Mitzrayim day after day and then went away. And all the officers of Mitzrayim did as Yosef had commanded. And all that came to Mitzrayim to buy grain, the gatekeepers would write their names and their father's names and daily bring them in the evening before Yosef.